Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. In this ultimate guide to the Hylog Omuk bounty in Blackrock Mountain in Hearthstone Mercenaries, I'm going to take a look at how to defeat this on a budget in normal, or normal a little bit faster if you have better mercenaries, as well as on heroic. My Lord Omuk has two key abilities. On normal mode, he has a passive 10 damage reduction, so you need to ramp up your damage to defeat him. And on heroic, that damage reduction is whooping 20 points of damage, so you really need something that ramps up in order to deal damage to Omok. Also, Omok casts a slow instagib on regular basis, which will destroy the highest health damaged mercenary you have. So in order to avoid that you have two options, either you need to have some healing so that your mercenaries will be topped off at the end of the round, or you need to be able to freeze Omok. Defeating High Lord Omok on normal on a budget is a simple task. The regular budget team will do well, Cariel, Serola, Samuro will climb easily all the way to the boss, and then Anaconda, Brukan and Gav can take down the boss itself. Brukan provides your team with additional nature damage and eventually that will overwhelm the boss. If you have access to more mercenaries, you can take an improved nature team into the fight with Malfurion, Brukan and Gav. These three mercenaries are actually all you need for normal mode. You can climb with this trio and then you can take down the boss with this trio as well. As for the heroic version, this is actually the team that I completed the heroic with. So Malfurion, Brukan, Gav and then Anduin, Bella, Natalie, Selene. I used Malfurion, Brukan and Gav to climb all the way to the boss. And then in the boss fight, I opened with the Holy Squad, Anduin, Bella, Natalie taking down the adds and then bringing in nature team. Bringing in Brukan when it's safe to do so. Brukan starts to ramp up that nature damage and then the boss will fall. Caster boons are incredibly effective for this battle, especially the one that reduces cooldowns to zero. Because that just enables you to spam so many more heals. Also, if you're able to find the Valanir treasure, Valanir can restore your team to full health. That can also be very helpful. If you do not have either of those, Malfurion with Life Root staff can still keep your team healed. But then you need to be more careful about speed management while the adds are alive, and actually probably not using Scenario Surge, but using Endangry Roots and Archdruid's Call instead, so that your nature abilities would happen a little bit later during the turn, so that Life Root staff will be able to heal you up. I also have some gameplay footage for you. There's the boss skill on normal with Anaconda, Brukan and Cuff, so the budget team, and then there is the boss skill on heroic with this team. Omok on normal is fairly simple, but on heroic it is one of the more challenging encounters. And I hope this video helps. Because that's not important at all. So, we'll see what, what will it actually get. Ogremancer, whenever hell is rest restored for any character, restore 10 more. Too bad my mouth is dead. High Lord Omok takes 10 less damage, what? An ogre brute that's immune while attacking. Okay. Intriguing. Ex exactly like like in every other every other game of the genre. But experience is like first I thought experience would be important, but pretty soon it became apparent that it's not. Attack an enemy, its ability is tough. Oh, that's some interesting stuff. I think I can afford to start shooting there, right? I think I can. I'll grab that divine shield away first. Okay. Me smash! Destroy the highest health damaged enemy. What? A lot of streamers have to play mercenaries. Yeah, they have. And I can see, like, most streamers were complaining that they couldn't pay their way to win, the, win in this mode. They really wanted to, or pay to get everything. Like, everyone, everyone who's rich, they wanted to pay money so that they get everything so that they can create content. But when the mode requires grinding, they just... Guess didn't like that at all. Can I get that one down now? Actually, I can chain lightning next turn, right? I think I can. Mm. 
Well, Lays, you're busy. I mean, I have to admit that even though I have been trying to do as much as possible with mercenaries, I have not been able to grind. Grind everything that I would have wanted to grind. And like, I'm constantly being questioned like, why don't you have this, why don't you have that? Deal 24 damage to all mercenaries. Let's make this one immune and sh hit with it. Then we're going for these combo effects. So you need some big damage effects to kill, effectively kill this one. Because of that huge damage reduction. But nature team is pretty good at doing that. We're also going to lose some mercenaries in this fight. Probably because of the abilities. But on normal it didn't seem that difficult regardless. But yeah, the mercenaries has been an interesting experiment in ungated content. Yeah, I think it was in I think it was that. It's going to instigate Insta keep Anduin, actually. Immune while attacking. Takes 20 less damage. How are you supposed to damage that? And all of these take dust damage effects happen before the critical bonus. So if you have like a 21 damage ability that would crit for 42, it actually crits for 2. We're going to try to bring the Holy Squad to take down some of the adds. And then we're trying to bring the Nature to take down the boss. Death Coil. I can enemy its abilities target this Smirk this turn. Game plus 5 attack first. Hopefully some of these, these will die, or hopefully they won't, but I mean... Nature damage is easiest to ramp up. Is this just Shadow Beam spam on that one now? Let's try. Me smash, destroy a random damaged enemy. 15 speed. 7 speed, 5 speed. So I can't heal at the end. Andrew is going to die, right? I, there's no way for me to heal at the end. Actually, any of these could die. Let's see. Now it's Velen that's going to die. We lose the holy at holy power bonus. There goes Velen. Who do we bring in? Maybe I'll try to bring in Malfurion. Attack an enemy, give it minus 5 attack permanently. Earth Stomp. Wow. Defile. That's 3 speed, so I can't even root it. And there is now just 10 damage. 20 damage to that one. Plus 32 damage to that one. No heals. This one's going to die now. we we'll get rid of this one. One add is down. Destroy a random damaged enemy again. Ouch. 
11 damage at 6 speed. I can use Valanir at 7 speed. No one will be damaged. No one is going to be damaged. And that's at 15 speed, so 11 speed Valanir is still fine. Okay, there won't be anyone who's damaged, right? I believe... I believe no one will be damaged. Yes, we dodged the Instagib. Earth Stomp and Death Coil. Keep shooting at the Ogre Man, sir. We can get the Ogre Master down where golden. Instagib at 15 speed, Defile at 5 speed. Yes, this is all working out. Valanir at 7 speed, make sure that no one dies. Job done. Yes. Earth Stomp at 5 speed, Defile at 5 speed. Okay. Keep shooting that Ogre Mancer. Once the Ogre Mancer goes, we'll be fine. We ne may need to get rid of Natalie. To bring in Brookhan. I need to let Natalie go. I don't think Natalie can damage the boss. Do I run into the turn limit? Turn limit would be a problem. They currently can't damage the boss. Natalie will have to kill herself. Everyone else will help. I can't do this one, it will restore health to Natalie. Okay. Don't heal beam your own Natalie. I'm shadow beaming my Natalie. Yeah, it does work. It's, it's the same speed. But I want to use that one too, so that I can get Brookhan a little bit faster on the board next turn. And then we're going to win. Unless we run into the turn limit. Okay, turn limit could cause me to lose. I'm not sure how many turns I have. Not sure how many turns I have. But I have the double lightning bolt, so this is going to start ramping up pretty quickly. While I'm near... More lightning bolts. Can this lightning bolt hit a friendly character? It doesn't matter because it happens before Valanir. As long as we don't go to the turn limit, we've got this. The first points of damage have been dealt. Job 
job's done. As long as we don't hit the turn limit, we got this. Okay. I'm just a little worried that we hit the turn limit, but I think we don't. I think it will be fine. But that boss... is able to take so much damage. Ooh. That's one heroic down. <laughs> Even got 97 XP. Such a long fight. Yeah, that was High Lord Omok, heroic. And the rewards, were they worth it? I can tell you already, they were not. Fifty-five Warden Dawn Grasp coins and twenty-five Utara coins. <laughs> Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the content, please click the like button, subscribe to my channel, and check out my Twitch channel.